Viewers, one of the conditions of Salah is Tahara, that is purification. And this purification includes the purification of a Salah performer's dress as well. I mean, if the dress of a Salah performer is not purified, his Salah will not be valid. But sometimes it happens that because of a lack of knowledge, we think that the dress is purified, but actually that dress is impure because we have not purified it in a correct way. So in today's video, we will discuss how to purify clothes. Viewers, first of all, remember that only that part of the cloth which contains impurity is impure. The entire cloth is not impure. Hence, if only that part is purified, it is sufficient. It means the cloth will be purified in its entirety. Now, there are two forms of impurity. One is that the impurity is visible on the cloth. That is, it can be seen after getting dry. And the other form of impurity is that if it dries up on the cloth, it is not visible. For example, urine. When it dries up on the cloth, sometimes we cannot judge what part it is on. In the first case, that is, when an impurity is visible on the cloth, the part with the impurity can easily be purified. Its easy way is that you should hold that part with the impurity and bring it under a tap. Now, turn on the tap with an appropriate stream of water, making sure that the impurity does not splash on you. Then, keep the cloth under the stream of the water and keep rubbing it. When you are completely satisfied that the water would have washed away the impurity, this cloth is now purified. There is no need to wring out the cloth. And in this case, if the impurity is thick, which is called nijasate mariya, for example, stool, dung, blood, etc., there is no condition of counting the washes, rather it is necessary to remove it. If it is removed by washing it once, it will be purified only by washing it once. And if it is removed by washing it four to five times, it will have to be washed four to five times. However, if the impurity is removed within less than three washes, it is mustahab to complete the count of three washes. And remember that if the impurity is removed, but its effect, that is color or smell remains, it is necessary to remove it as well. However, if its effect is removed with difficulty, there is no need to remove the effect. If you wash it thrice, it is purified. Now, let's switch to the other form of impurity, that is najasate ghair mariya, that is the impurity which is not visible after being dry, for example, urine. In this case, one way to purify that cloth is that the cloth is put under the tap and the water is allowed to flow to the extent that the impurity is removed and now you have a strong assumption of purity, so the cloth is purified. The other way is that you should wash it thrice and wring it out forcefully each time and thus it will be purified. Wringing out forcefully means the person should wring out the cloth as per his strength in such a way that if he wrings it out again, no drop falls from it. Being careful about the cloth, if you do not wring it out thoroughly, it will not be purified. Viewers, this was a brief method of purifying clothes. To learn about its details, read Bahari Shariat part 2 and for more videos, subscribe to our channel. May Allah Almighty purify our outer and inner selves.